So this is the um, Soviet Comintern artillery tractor from um, Trumpeter in 135th scale. Um, it's a nice enough kit. It's pretty straightforward in the, in the build. I think there's only about eight steps uh, as far as the instructions uh, instructions are concerned. Um, we get individual link tracks, which uh, I've obviously put on here, which you can see. You get the options to open the door and. Um, at the cab at the back there, there's a seat that you can have in or not, um, and opened up, although I must admit it's probably pretty much designed to be as it is there, opened up. Um, and yeah, it's, it's pretty good. You get some decals for the instrument panel as well, which is always quite helpful at this scale. Um, I've done this, this is part of my um, Spanish Civil War group, so this is, um, they had a few of these in Spain, so I've depicted it as one of those, there were no markings. Um, I'll run a few pictures at the end showing you the actual one where one of these uh, got captured, so uh, that sort of proves the point that it was there. And you can see that um, there were no markings on it, uh, typical for most of the Republican stuff, and obviously it was on the Republican side, being a Soviet vehicle. and. Um, I've been quite happy with it. The weathering's been nice to do. Um, general oil washes, and then I've just gone over with some pigments there just to kick up a bit of dust. Uh, it's quite nice there in the cab as well. I have left it actually, saying that. I've left it all um, unglued so you can actually see inside the cab there. So um, you can see the dust effects and the um, nice cab floor there as well. It's mainly done with oils and then just went over with a bit of pigments. Um, haven't had to do many major modifications. So I'd sanded back the lenses there because I had a pattern on them, and um, certainly the ones in Spain did not. So I've just cleared those off and kicked up a bit of dust around there. Hopefully, it'll come through in the pictures a lot better. But um, you can see some of the sort of fading and uh, oil work that I've done on the wooden panels there. And as I say, it's quite modular how it goes together because um, this whole back cab comes off, the top cab comes off, so you can build it all together. This and um, th this part, so the hood and the cab, are um, moulded as one, so you don't have to worry about getting the fit right or anything. You just um, the grill at the front is part of the bonnet. And that all goes onto the hole, which is also pre-moulded, and then the cab just slots on behind. So it's quite a nice idea, actually. One of um, one of the better kits from Trumpeter that I've seen. So uh, I'll leave you with some pictures now. I've got some build pictures of this a lot along the way, so um, I'll put them in as well. And um, stay tuned to the channel because there's much more to come.